Yeah, so this is a very hot topic these days about the USMLE step one converting to pass and fail. And I will try my best to put it simply. So when we talk about USMLE step one, by now it has a three digit score. And from January uh, 2021, it is going to change to a pass and fail. So either you have passed or you have failed. So there is no importance of your scores anymore because nobody is going to know your scores. So the advantage of this is that USMLE Step 1 was a really very stressful exam. It had a lot of syllabus and a lot of pressure on the students to score well because it kept on becoming competitive. And even when you apply for residency, the programs took it as like the number one criteria to select out candidates. And I will give you the link so you can share it. So there is the whole data that it, it used to get the most important, the step one score. So getting converted to pass on fail, it reduces its importance. So now people who are pass are pass and those who are fail. So if, for example, we consider that the minimum score that you need to pass the exam is 197 and the median score is, for example, 240. So if someone is getting a 240 or if someone is getting a 200, they both are passed and they both are at the same level. So this again becomes the disadvantage for people who are high scorers. So if you are a high scorer and you've got a 250, now there is no place to show, show those stars. So even if you are a 250 person, now you're in the same boat, all are pass. So especially when it comes to IMGs, it turns to be a con because for IMGs, we had a platform to prove our caliber among the American medical graduates that see, I've got this score, I'm equally capable. Now that chance is gone. So now you only have one chance to show the numbers, which is your step to CK. So although step one is gone, you still have a chance for step two CK. The only part is that earlier you had two chances. Now you just have one chance. So even if someone scored bad in step one, they had another chance to score good in step two CK. Now step two CK is the only thing. So you have to score well in step two CK. And also because it is pass fail, that does not mean that you don't prepare well for this exam, which is the step one, because then your step two CK is based on that. So you have to make sure you're preparing well, but in my opinion, students anxiety will reduce down because of this change. So I think this is a good change that is coming forward and take it in a positive way because if there something has changed, you cannot do anything about that. So now people have to work up on different parts of their CV so that they can stand out of the other candidates.